Be Wealthy and Smart, episode 452. into a world of wealth and financial freedom without budgets, boredom, or bosses on Be Wealthy and Smart. And now, here's your host, Linda P. Jones. Welcome to Be Wealthy and Smart. I'm Linda P. Jones, America's Wealth Mentor, empowering women and men worldwide to financial freedom. On today's show, we're going to talk about the great Aretha Franklin, and unfortunately, what it means that she died without having a will. Not having a will is called dying intestate. And unfortunately, this fabulously successful woman worth reportedly around $80 million died without a will. Yikes. So I was really shocked to see that on on the one hand, just because you expect that people with that much money would take care of their affairs and you know, see that everything was all buttoned up and have lots of advisors, etc. Apparently, she does have lots of advisors, and her attorney tried to get her to sign a will, but she didn't want to. So it's going to be a long battle. This will not go quickly because there's going to be probably a lot of things that have to be decided that are uncertain, and there may be additional people that come in that want to make claims against her property. All kinds of craziness happens in general with celebrities and with people with a lot of wealth, but even more so when things are less clear. And not having a will means things are definitely not clear. She has four sons, and one of them is a special needs son who has a guardian. And so he has special needs that he needs to be taken care of for probably the rest of his life. So that needs to be decided upon and then agreed upon with the other three sons because the estate is essentially going to be split four ways between the four sons. Now, you also have the situation where because she was such a fabulous singer and had many awards, gold record albums, Uh, future royalties coming in from songs she wrote, people are going to want some of her possessions. And it's not clear if she wanted certain people to get those possessions or not. So now that's going to have to be decided among the four who are inheriting that. And you can see how there could be a propensity for fights to break out, for people to get angry at each other, for everybody to want the same thing. There can be a lot of things that unfortunately can destroy the remaining family's relationship because of things that weren't spelled out by the departed loved one. So these are some of the things that we're going to see probably play out. We also know that it's going to be incredibly more expensive because it means more lawyers, more defending different people, each one wanting to defend their own rights, trips to court to get decisions made by the court, uh, the will to be probated, uh, lots of different things, you know, assuming she owns real estate, there's lots of different things that have to be taken care of and accounted for and decided on and decisions made and things like that. So she does have a niece, apparently, that's going to step up and help with this whole process but it still sounds like it's going to be a real nightmare for the family. Now, what this has to do with you is that you don't have to be super wealthy in order to have a will. A will simply tells people where you want your possessions to go, who you want to have inherit things. And in Aretha's case, she didn't have minor children. Her children were pretty grown up, I think in their 40s through their 60s. So they were all grown up and on their own. But if you have minor children, children that live with you or live with an ex-spouse, there are things that you're going to want to do to make arrangements for those children and see who's going to be taking care of them. What if you and your spouse, God forbid, went down in the same plane and you were away from your children? Who's going to raise your children? 
So the state has a plan for you, the state that you live in, it will tell you what's going to happen, but it's not necessarily what you want to have happen. In order for you to decide what goes on with your loved ones, with your family, with your possessions, with your home, with your pets, with anything that you enjoy today, those things have to be spelled out in your will. And so it's just a matter of, you know, going online and completing a will. You can do that simply. There are some websites will allow you to do that. I always recommend if you have, you know, at least half a million dollars in assets that you would go and speak with an attorney and talk with an attorney about different things you could do. You need to be able to just get your things in order and it will make your surviving spouse's life so much better. It will make your family's life so much better. It'll make your parents' life so much better. It will make everyone's situation better to know your wishes and have it all spelled out and know what you wanted and where things should go and how things should be handled. Again, otherwise, you're submitting to whatever your state suggests should happen to all of that, all of your children and your possessions. So it's not that difficult to have a will made. It's not that expensive to have a will made. Usually it's a couple hours with a lawyer and it's pretty easy for them to do. They have it, you know, a boilerplate in their computer and then they can just fill in the blanks. And so it doesn't really take very long. And like I said, you can do it on your own. I don't really like people trying to do their own legal things, but if you're trying to really minimize cost and you feel like you just don't have the money to spend for a lawyer, that is an option for you to do. Another reason why you want to talk with a lawyer about your legal situation is just to have a review of all your assets, the ownership of your assets. I've had people that I've met who were divorced from spouses and they had some assets like insurance policies or their 401k mistakenly still titled as their ex-spouse to be the beneficiary. And so if they died, their ex-spouse, not their current spouse, would inherit their money. And so it's good to have an attorney review all of those things for you, review your ownership of your assets and look at, do you need some trusts? What do you need that's going to uh, help you minimize estate taxes? Uh, if that's if you have a very large estate and that's uh, a possibility for you. So there's all kinds of reasons why, but I just recommend that you go ahead and make sure that you've thought about what you wanna do for a will and really take the steps to make it happen. It's gonna make, everyone around you so much happier and you're going to save them a lot of headaches. They're not going to be angry with you after you're gone if you can help them by putting this together for them. It's when you don't put things together for your loved ones that there's a lot of anger that gets generated from that, at least in my experience. And I've had several family members die. So I unfortunately have been through that a few times. I also wanted to let you know I have some exciting news coming up. I've been mentioning my book, You're Already a Wealth Heiress, Now Think and Act Like One, Six Practical Steps to Make It a Reality Now, is coming out soon. So this week is actually the week that it debuts, and you can find it on Amazon.com, Barnes & Noble, and also your local bookstores. I am going to be doing some more podcasts about content that's in the book, so you'll be learning some of the highlights from it and some of the concepts that I wrote about that I haven't shared on the podcast, and I think you're going to like it. So if you haven't checked that out, go to Amazon.com, put in either Linda P. Jones or Wealth Heiress, and it will bring up my book, and you can take a look and see what you think. I put a lot of heart and soul into this and some great information to get you closer to financial freedom every single day. That's all for today. Until next time, live the good life and be wealthy and smart. Thank you for listening to Be Wealthy and Smart with Linda P. Jones. Share the wealth and tell your family and friends about the show. Check out our website, blog, and social media for more riches at www.bewealthyandsmart.com.